What if the path to wealth actually had a shortcut? And what if this shortcut could allow you to obtain wealth so quickly that you will inevitably have escaped the rat race that so many people unfortunately will never escape from? And what if instead of waiting until you're 60 to enjoy your money, you can make millions of dollars and enjoy that money now while you are still young? You see, for most people, this dream lifestyle will remain nothing more than a dream. But for those of you watching this video, this dream could easily become your reality if you pay attention until the end of the video. So listen carefully, because by the end of this video, you will be one step closer to escaping the rat race or the matrix or whatever you want to call it, and you'll be able to do so in record time. Every single day, we get up, we turn off our alarm clock, we hop in the shower, we drive off to work, and we put up with angry people all day, take orders from a boss who doesn't care about us, while working for a company that doesn't appreciate us. And then we go home, at the end of each day, we turn on the TV or we watch a few hours of YouTube, only to go to bed shortly after, wake up, and then do it all over again. This is the mundane, lifeless, soulless, purposeless life that 95% of people all around the world live every single day. It doesn't matter whether you live in the United States or all the way across the world in somewhere like Egypt or India. The matrix or the illusion that has all of us trapped knows absolutely no boundaries. Imagine if from the moment that you are born to the moment that you return to the earth, everything in between or the entirety of your life was nothing more than an illusion. Imagine if, like the movie itself, your entire existence was used for nothing more than the mere purpose of serving as a battery to power a system that enslaves the majority of our population. You see, the illusion is the conventional wisdom that we are given from a young age and, and it is all of the distractions used along the way to keep us distracted and to keep us within the matrix or to keep us stuck in this rat race that we are all unwillingly participating in. It's really hard to imagine, but something like 95% of every human on the planet is born into this thing that we call the Matrix, and not even once do they take a second to question the system that they have been living in for their entire lives. Not even once do they question the system just long enough to finally make their escape. You see, most people will be born and they will go their entire life without ever realizing the truth. For many of you watching, there will be moments where you notice some kind of glitch in the system or something that just doesn't seem or feel right and and it is at this time that a little voice in your head will ask you is this it is this really what i am here for am i really here just to make tacos for taco bell or to pour carbonated sugar water into cups all day long just like the millions of other people around me who are all trapped within the system just like i am you see there is a reason why they don't teach you about money in school there is a reason why from the moment that you enter school, everything that you learn is designed to turn you into an employee rather than a business owner. Now, this isn't to say that some lizard people are sitting at the top of the world system purposefully making sure that we are all trapped within the system forever, but whether intentional or unintentional, there is no denying the fact that the system is rigged against you from the moment that you are born onto this planet into the moment that you leave this planet. So the illusion is simply the life that we think that we are supposed to live. The illusion is the endless distractions coming at us from every angle that are flawlessly designed to keep us in a state of ignorance. If you look at an app like TikTok, this app was no accident. In fact, TikTok is easily the most powerful tool that the Matrix has ever created to keep us trapped within the system, to make sure that we never question anything and to make sure that every day we just shut up and do what we're told. The illusion is simply the life that they want us to live instead of the life that we deserve to live. So how do we actually escape from a system that is essentially designed in every possible way to keep us trapped within it? This is quite literally the million dollar question. And the answer is actually much simpler than you would think. And the way out, although simple, is camouflaged and it's been hiding in plain sight the entire time. You see, hidden right under our nose is actually a simple formula or an equation that when executed correctly will allow you to escape the rat race forever. So for those of you looking to escape from the matrix, getting rich is the quote unquote holy grail. For most people, escaping the system really and truly starts with not what you need to learn, but what you need to unlearn. You see, most of you watching have learned or you have trained yourself to be somebody who is poor. 
Most of us can't help but spend our entire paycheck a few days after we get it to impress a bunch of people that we don't care about or to make ourselves feel momentarily better about our life, all of which are dead ends. You see, they call this the rat race because the reality for most people is truly like running around in a giant maze chasing after a little bit of cheese, never even realizing that we are actually in the maze to begin with. Escaping the system actually starts with unlearning our bad habits and replacing those habits with something new and better. You have to unlearn the habit of using money to impress people. You have to unlearn the habit of spending all of your time consuming useless things. You have to unlearn the habit of watching people dance on TikTok for hours every single day. You see, like any good escape plan, you have to first prepare your plan or your escape and it all starts with unlearning all of the habits and the bad choices that are keeping you poor on a day-to-day -day basis. So the billion dollar question is, what is the code? Or what is the equation to wealth? How can we escape a system that is inherently designed to keep us mediocre? How do we escape what is pretty much the greatest illusion that mankind has ever known? And the answer to this question is simple. Every person who has gotten rich and who has escaped the rat race while they were young, you have to ask yourself, what did they all have in common? You see, every person out there who wasn't born into wealth, but who was able to drive exotic cars and travel anywhere that they want in the world, you have to ask yourself, what all these people have in common? You see, most people will spend their entire lives chasing money. Most people look at it like, how can I make more money? But the secret is not, how can I make more money? It is, how can I provide more value? All the famous people that you hear on the radio, they didn't start their journey asking themselves, how can I make more money? They started their journey with the goal of creating music that people will like. And what you have to understand is that money does not exist in a vacuum. Money is and will always be a byproduct of value. Money is nothing more than a signal of value because money is used to exchange for value. The only way to truly escape the matrix is with a simple equation. And like a simple formula that you could write on a sticky note that describes the entire universe in pretty much one sentence, the equation of wealth achieves the same goal, but instead of describing the universe, it is used to create millionaires. And the formula goes a little something like this. Value plus scale equals wealth. It's really that simple. This formula is used by pro athletes, it's used by musicians, it's used by business owners, and by all the most famous, most successful people in the world. And the equation is value plus scale equals wealth. This is the literal code to wealth, or the equation that you will need to finally escape the matrix. So let me explain exactly how this works. So if you want to escape the matrix, or if you want to escape the system that enslaves pretty much everybody around you, you first need a plan, and then you need the code, or the equation, that you will be able to use to escape. But before you can escape, you will need to actually understand the code, or understand how the equation works. So the equation is value plus scale equals wealth, but what exactly is value? What you have to understand is that an equation or a code only works if every part of it is right. Get even one part of the code wrong and the whole equation will never work. So the first part of the equation is value, but this is where it gets tricky because value is very subjective. You're probably wondering what actually is value in the first place. How can we define value? And it's simple, really. Value is pretty much anything that you create and present to the market. It's really not difficult to define value and so value is basically anything that solves a problem. If you were to look at these videos, for example, the main value that I try to deliver is helping you to become rich. This is educational value, but at the same time, I try my best to do it in a way that is entertaining. But at the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is create value for you, the viewer. If you look at a musician, they are doing the same exact thing. They are simply creating value in a different way. If you look at somewhere like McDonald's, McDonald's is easily one of, if not the biggest fast food chains in the world. Now, when I look at McDonald's, I personally do not see any value in it, but what I think doesn't actually matter. And what you think doesn't actually matter. You see, just because you think what you're doing is producing value does not actually mean that it is valuable. It does not actually mean that the market 
is going to see value in what you're doing. And this is where so many people get it wrong. You see, the amount of value that you are putting out into the world is determined not by you, but by the market or by the people who you are presenting your value to. And so value can be extremely subjective. But generally speaking, value is pretty much anything that you create and put out into the world. And value is something that solves problems. You see, when a singer makes a song about breakups and somebody who is going through a breakup turns on that song while they're driving in their car and the song makes them feel better about the breakup, in that moment, that song delivered an incredible amount of value to that person listening to it. But value is only one part of the equation. You see, you cannot make the equation work if you do not have both parts. Now, if we look at the second part of the equation, the second part is a little something called scale. And without scale, value alone will rarely ever make you rich. In fact, scale is the magic ingredient that converts value into true wealth. You see, if you're working a typical job right now, the amount of scale is always going to be capped. If you're, for example, a massage therapist and you deliver your value in the form of a good massage at a rented space at a local mall, the amount of value is always going to be capped at how many hours you can work in a day or how many massages you can personally deliver. But imagine if instead of giving massages, you took your knowledge of how to grow a massage business and sold it as a digital product that teaches new business owners how to do what you've done. Now you can deliver value at scale. You see, all the famous celebrities, athletes, and musicians that you know, the reason they are all so rich is because they are able to deliver value at scale. Because value without scale will never make you rich. So once you have figured out what value it is that you can provide, you have to figure out how to provide that value at scale. Imagine a guy who plays guitar at weddings. His value that he offers is providing weddings with good music, but if you compare him to, say, a global musician who has music on the radio and all the major streaming platforms, who do you think is going to make more money? You see, value without scale means absolutely nothing. And scale is simply the ability to provide value to huge amounts of people. These videos I make on YouTube, they have massive scale because they allow me to deliver value to potentially billions of people. And all that I have to do is make sure that I am providing the right type of value to the right type of person, and then YouTube will do the rest. But not everybody is a good fit for making YouTube videos. It is up to you to figure out what value you can provide, and then to figure out how you can provide that value at scale with the easiest path being some type of internet business. This is quite literally the equation to wealth. And the equation is and will always be value plus scale equals wealth. But you have to get both parts of the equation right because you can't have value without scale and scale does not work if you're not providing value. Escaping the rat race and getting rich is actually really easy, but most people unfortunately will never put the work in that is needed to execute on this simple equation. So now that you know how, the only question left is, when will you decide that it's time to finally escape the rat race? And with that said, my name's Julian. This, this is The New Rich. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.